welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. This is your source for authentic tarot and astrology, magic, and manifestation. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria. The creator and the head witch behind Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. If you're old friends to me and the YouTube channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about the future of the U.S. I'm going to be working with Tarot of the Divine in order to see what spirit is open and willing to share with us about the future of the U.S. I don't know why we're doing this reading today. I just know that I felt called to, so I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to shuffle and pull. Um, as I always do with any reading that I have here on my channel, if you are not comfortable with really blunt readings and blunt energy and authentic intu intuition, which I don't, I can't um, predict what I'm going to see and feel. I just share my predictions. Then this is probably not your reading to tune into I had a feeling the moon card would jump out today but we are going to be talking about the U.S. we're going to be diving into the U.S. Um, really quickly just to work with this energy a little further I made a blend of powder herbal powder that I'm going to be using in order to protect my energy and to also help me um, maximize my discernment and my visions during this reading, I'll have this powder available for you guys in my apothecary. I'll link it down below, including the powder. And um, the candle that I'm working with is a higher wisdom candle. Um, it doesn't have a label on it, um, nor does it have the herbs on it, but that's because I knew that I was going to be working with these herbs today. Um, so these specific herbs help to maximize intuition, but also help you intuitives and witches as they're working with their intuition, okay? So I'll have it available for you guys in my shop if you need it. Okay, beautiful spirit. I am here. I'm listening. What is the vibe? The future of the U.S., the United States of America. What are we looking at? What's going on? The lovers. Two of Wands. I'm getting um, a, a massive energy about disconnection, a very huge emotional disconnection here. Um, uh, there's a divisiveness that's happening here, clearly with the lovers and two of wands. I'm really getting a strong sense that um, the two parties or two separate entities are not coming together as one, and it's very, very emotional. I'm also hearing that the next few years, it's going to feel, for many people, emotionally draining. This makes sense as this is something that we've already been experiencing these days thus far. It feels very ignited. It feels very heated. It feels very um, polarizing. It, um, I'm also seeing in, in a lot of Americans individually, um, a lot of your own feelings are going to be called into question. Um, your, your feelings are going to combat each other. Um, Spirit is talking about, forgive me guys for coming in so heavy with this, but, and so quick, um, but the me messages are really coming through really strong. Um, Spirit is talking about the things that you would logically, that would, the, the, the decisions that you would make logically are not going to make sense as far as what's in your best, what you feel is in the best interest of what's happening and what you see playing out. It's because your intuition is picking up on something different than what you're seeing on social media or on the news. They're very, very different. Um, there's going to be, the spirit is going to, it's almost, I'm hearing the word like dissociation. So Americans are going to start feeling like they're almost dissociating because they cannot um, be in their bodies. Like they can't comfortably be in their bodies right now because it's overwhelming. They're being bombarded with information and different feelings. Spirit wants to talk about how your own personal beliefs are going to get called into question, each of us individually, where you'll see something and you would normally advocate for it, but you can intuitively sense or you can feel like something is not quite, quite right, that it makes you um, say no to something that you would normally advocate for, something that you would normally advocate for, you're being called to go the different way. Why though? Why? Like, why is this? 
Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but some black ashes just kind of like fell down. It was like black dust or black um, ashes. There's some things that are really going to, it's still coming out. I think I'm pretty sure it's coming from this candle. There's a lot of, um, I don't say negative energy, but there's a lot of, I'm hearing the word fallacy. I'm hearing the word fallacy, F-A-L-L-A-C-Y. How something shows up is not authentically what it is. It's something different. Um, that's what this black ash is. It's something so different. It deviates. It's not um, there's a lot of, a lot of energy that's being burnt out, especially when it comes to leadership and the powers that be, um, those things are being burnt out and called into question. Um, spirit wants to go back to talking about your personal beliefs and that this is going to be a really tough time for Americans because what their personal beliefs are, are, and what they say and their, and their opinion is going to shift and change radically there. You're going to be stunned by how Americans will it's like you can't, I don't know how to express this. Like you can't, um, like your normal beliefs, like if you're normally a Democrat, you're going to start pulling into Republican. If you're normally a Republican, you start pulling into dem democracy. It's You're going to be pulling into something other than what you would normally believe about yourself. And it's it's because nothing, it's not that things don't make sense. It's just that you can sense that there's a deeper rooted um, also, I don't know why I'm hearing history. Like there's deeper, there's deeper meaning in the history of what you're watching that you can't actually stay in one mindset. If you try to pin yourself into one way of, okay, this is what I would do normally as an American in this, you're going to find yourself at a, in a, like a, conf a, a conflict within yourself because you're going to intuitively sense that staying in that way, that box is not... There, there needs to be a lot of flexibility. You, you're going to want to be very, very flexible. Um, Franklin, stop it, honey. You're going to need to be um, very, very flexible. Um, there, there's, I just, I, I'm getting this message about like two sides where something that you were once advocating for if it happens and then you find out that there's a deeper message behind that. So the thing that you were once advocating for, you find out that it was an illusion or there was it was a trick or there was a fallacy or it was a story that was told. And that's why you advocated for it. Then when it comes to when it comes to fruition, you're going to be like, I can't get behind this, but you advocated for it. There's a lot of like moving like something that you advocate for and you step forward with you find out that there's more to the story and that you're like now I can't advocate for it but I did advocate for it and now that it happened it's like I didn't advocate for this it's a lot of that three of pentacles interesting I you guys some of this is not going to make sense right now um because it really is going to go over a lot of people's heads I I will say that because you you can't think about things logically moving forward now in the U.S. or how the powers like the the politics and how the rules are and how things are established it, it just it's not a simple answer there's a lot of manipulation there's a lot of storytelling there's a lot of what is a lot of things going on beneath the surface and what we're we know this what we're seeing is just i'm hearing um spirit saying like it happens within the blink of an eye like it happens so quick it's interesting that Nine of Cups is reversed here. Um, I just see this as something, like the reflection of something, where we're seeing something, we think that we're seeing it for what it is and we're satisfied with that, but then we find out later on that that's not actually, It's we're looking at the reflection of something. It's like smoke and mirrors. I've never looked at the Nine of Cups in that way, but I see that as that today. It's the reflection of something. So something feels very twisted. It feels, I just heard... Um, Something I'm hearing like it seems benign, it seems harmless, and then you find out that something that should be harmless turns out to be harmful. Queen of Cups, who is this? Wow. Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. I do get a sense that there's going to be... Um, I, I don't know why I'm getting like the word Marianne or starts at M, like an M word, Mary. <laughs> I 
interesting because we've never really had like a woman in a position of power that, <coughs> excuse me, that showed up as a global world leader. Um, I, I am almost feeling like there's going to be a feminine energy. I don't know why I'm getting um, like a Maureen or a Marianne or an M um, or a Nancy, like an M or an N. Um, something about... I, I'm, I'm hearing spirit say um, calling forth like she's trying to rally something or trying to rally people or rally rally a, um, like get together like a bunch. This is going to come into play later on um, down the line something about um, I, I feel like this has to do believe it or not um, with protection of the U.S. Um, it's interesting that it's coming from a female figure, and I don't know why I'm getting like an N or an M. Um, protection, yeah, three of cups. I'm getting, it's like I'm seeing her rallying or behind the scenes. Um, I don't think that this is going to be something that's going to be publicly confirmed. I think that this is behind the scenes, and I actually feel that I feel like the work that is that it has to do with finances. It has to do with um, rallying resources and money for the U.S. or where fund funding is allocated, where it's going, um, who it's going to. The hermit card. Yeah, this is someone who's behind the scenes. It's she's it's quiet. It's someone who's really really quiet. Um, Spirit is talking to me about this because if you guys ever light candles for anyone other than yourself, um, or if you pray or set magic and intention for anyone other than yourself or your family or people that is that you know, work magic for her um, to protect her and to bless her because I actually don't, I feel like this is a good thing, but it's the odds are kind of stacked against her when it comes to... Yeah, Emperor. She's going to come forward as a leader, um, but she's going to need a lot of spiritual help um, when it comes to protecting the U.S. and allocating funds. I would be really curious to hear who is the leader of financing or spending in the United States or the rallying of troops or the rallying of like getting um, people pulled together. Um, I'm also hearing like unification, like we stand united. There's something about this person being a huge advocate and a huge important factor in getting the U.S. united. Um, believe it or not, I'm really surprised to, to see and hear that. I don't know why I'm getting M. I also think that she might be a, a, a woman of color. She might be a black woman. Interesting. Three of Swords, Strength card reversed, and the Four of Pentacles. This is something separate. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Spirits like this has nothing to do with that. Okay. I'm hearing um Queen, the, the Queen of Cups, she's rallying. Like she's gonna be rallying in the near future, or it has to do something with a feminine energy. Um so work magic spells to protect her. Um, the US is we got our we got our shit cut out for us right now. Um this doesn't feel good, totally. I'm sure you guys pretty much knew that. I want to talk to you quickly about the meaning of the Four of Pentacles in this deck, right? So the tarot deck that I'm working with is Tarot of the Divine. And in this card, this symbolizes someone, this vulture, this opportunistic vulture that keeps his wife, this is the story, that keeps his wife, quote unquote, protected, and she chooses to stay there in a situation that is unhealthy because them being together is like it's like we're together but like at what at what cost like it is it does it benefit us to be together so this is something that it's like i see this as the u.s and the people the people stay under the wings of the u.s but the u.s but that's not in their best interest and this person knows that or the people know that the u.s wants the people to be under their wings and it's not in their best interest and they know that it's like like both people get hurt in this situation, three of swords, strength card reverse. It's because 
I do get a strong sense that um, there's a, the, the, the U.S. people, I hate that I'm saying this out loud, but um, the U.S. people don't aren't as protected as they think that they are. Um, we're actually way more vulnerable than we than we want to believe that we are. Um, I'm also getting a like a punch in the face or a smack in the face on the left side. So I feel like something happened out of like a, um, something once something like kind of hit hit us or hit the U.S. It made a lot of things crumble internally and it revealed a lot of weakness it revealed a lot of weaknesses in the u.s and from that it's been a facade ever since the people have felt um that they there's nowhere else better to go or turn to in the world so we stay put we stay present and the u.s is trying to create a facade of safety but it's it does feel like a bit of an illusion Um, I feel like, yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say the word we stand united, but the thing is, is like, it doesn't necessarily feel that way. Um, it's everybody has their own striking differences, right? And the thing that's unifying us is not our love for our country or our love for our people. It's almost we're standing unified in the fact that there's pain or that there isn't something better. It's almost like we're stabilized in where we're at right now and we've accepted that. Um, having said that, this is this energy is going to continue to bleed forward in the near future. We're going to start seeing more signs of... I don't want to say crumbling, but um, how much... We need each other, but it doesn't feel unifying. I don't know why it doesn't feel like we're being united. It feels like it's coming out of more of a space of fear and people kind of being covered by protect us here. Yeah, Six of Wands. The United States is kind of in a predicament right now. Things are. It just seems like things right now are a little sticky. Six of Wands reversed should be the person who's coming out on top. Um, but they're not, it's the person, it's the person who seemed like they were on top, but they're getting struck off the horse. What does this mean? Um, a lot of when the finance, when financing and funding, that's why spirit wants to talk about funding because where the U S is going to pull their power is through money in the near future, especially, the cow here represents Taurus and also can represent the stock market resources becoming available. So when money starts getting pulled out, it starts to impact and bleed into the strength of the United States um, because money is there. Money is a huge thing right now. I, I mean, I guess that makes sense, but that's ultimately, it's like you need the money to, yeah, fuck, man. Okay, judgment card. You need the money to have armies. You need the money to have feed the people. You need money to blah, blah, blah. Something about, I don't know if this has to do with the recession that's coming through, and especially with Four of Pentacles, she's holding on to all these coins, and this vulture is kind of protecting her. Um, but again, it's like not mutually... Like it's, it's, it's like, we're not, it doesn't feel like, okay, I'm safe here and you're protecting me and you enjoy protecting me. And the satisfaction that you get with protecting me gives you the fuel to continue to protect me. So it's like, we're mutually exclusive. Like this works out. It's more like I need you. You need me. There isn't, I don't want to go out and see any better because anywhere else in the world. So it's not the worst circumstance, but it's not the best circumstance. And this has to do with the future future Americans when it comes to spending and money and this queen of cups, I feel like she's going to, she's working on making resources or funding or pulling things together so that fun, the, the, the future of Americans and families is going to the, so spirit wants to talk about fun funding. I thought we were going to talk about war, to be honest with you. I thought there was going to be a thing about war but spirit is talking right now about resources spending and finances 
I don't think that war is going to be, it's, if there is the threat of war, it's not something that happens like when we think that it will, you know, it's like almost with, I know from looking at social media and stuff or the news, I should say that I'm um, looking at, I don't really look at social media, but when I look on the news, I see the Russia, Russia and the war, the war in the Ukraine. And I would think like, maybe it's like, is there like world war three looming? This is actually, if we're, if you're concerned about World War III, I actually don't see that happening. I, I see it being put off. I also don't feel like, I don't know where money goes because I don't understand how that, how that works. But it, I feel like people don't actually have the resources and the finances in order to make something that big and drastic kind of happen. But just because that's not happening doesn't mean that it feels good. It feels a little... I, I'm hearing like the cost of labor or things are labored. The The real war here is resources and, and spending. It feels like there's nowhere else better to go to turn to. So it's like all of us are actually suffering here because everybody is fucking suffering here. No one really has the resources. Like resources for war don't exist. Everyone's a little bit more broke. So where did the money go? You know what I mean? Like if there's money being spent here on the planet earth where did that money go i just don't get it so like it had to have gone somewhere i don't know guys i don't i don't understand the the, the finagling of it all i'm just the reader in this moment in time i think that spirit is talking mostly about um people having to really conserve their resources moving forward into near future and like money and spending is the main focus for the united states right now and maybe this is because of a recession um, Spirit, what's going on? Look at that, dude. Queen of Cups keeps showing up and the Queen of Swords. Reverse. She's... Sorry if that was really loud. Is there anything else that we need to hear about the, the United States when it comes to safety or any major concerns or problem solving? What do we have here? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Reverse. This has a lot to do with money. They keep wanting to talk about money and spending looking for resources and not being able to find it. Um, yeah, Queen of Pentacles and Six of Wands. I see a lot of small entrepreneurial um, businesses and brands that are going to start popping up. Um, the American people, I, I really believe like them striking into their own individual pods and starting businesses. Um, and also, every, if everybody has their own hustle, it really helps individually when it comes to building the strength of the American people. I think that that's something that will unify us is the sense of community and what each of us contribute. Yeah, the star card and the chariot. Um, okay, so we're going to talk about global stuff. Feel free to... Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I feel like a lot of uh, globally, the world is just, it's like resources are drying, or I don't want to say that they're drying out. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's like tangible things. Like I just feel like resources are, are they're not, they're hard to come by. Um, Three of Cups Reverse specifically is giving me like things literally drying up, little communities, small communities drying up. Franklin's in the office with me, so if you guys hear him coughing and um, snorting, that's just what he does. He just... Come here. Come here, Nugget. What do you want? Want a Snorky? Okay. Um... I just want to say that like it, it doesn't it's like I don't know why I keep feeling this like it doesn't look good but it doesn't look awful you know where I know that's so cliche like it could that feeling of like things could be worse but that doesn't make it okay I am getting that vibe for the future of America like where we're at now I think that people are going to start looking for I feel like we're going to start st stop looking for government to help and we start helping ourselves individually i think that we stop relying on the government's protection exclusively and we start stop looking at the government for 
guidance and we stop trusting the government like we really are start trusting stop trusting the environment the government and we start trusting our communities it's like something that was once big now starts getting really small and i'm hearing the word pods um i feel like this also happened during covid times um i had a vision of everybody individually it was kind of giving me the vision that I had was some people like working out in space and these little spaceships and space pods. But in reality, what it ended up happening was, was that it was like COVID where we were all working from our offices, um, all by ourselves, um, or working from home. And that's how it ended up manifesting. I'm seeing that something broke through when that happened. And this has to do with people collectively and in, in, in our communities kind of relying on each other. Um, the problem is, is that I don't know if I necessarily, I don't know if I necessarily see this for food and nourishment because I feel like there's in these communities, there's certain things that are, are drying out and drying up, especially with three of cups here reversed. Um, I'm seeing that people are here, especially with the queen of wands. I feel like this is someone who looks for resources and the resources are not, um, available or they're extreme variations of resources. Um, this means that if you're looking for food, you're going to get a desert. If you're looking for water, you get fire. Um, so this is giving me more planetary things. And I feel like because of this for right now, temporarily, we're going to have to go through this. This is where people start doing like handouts and working with each other in small communities um, and being more self-reliant in those communities. What that looks like, this goes bigger into the whole world, though. What that looks like for the whole world, we're going to have to wait and see. Um, the, the planet, for those of you guys that get anxious, you'd be surprised how the planet does work to heal itself. Um, if you're concerned about that, I think that Knight of Swords is going to create some more information gathering and some like the smaller, it's like the youth becomes the leaders and the youth become advocates if they're able to stay clear minded and, and level headed. Um, I do feel like there's a sense of I've been talking about this, like drug usage and things like that, that kind of numb the, the youth and numb the masses. Um, in this case, I feel like the youth are, there's going to be plenty of youth that are going to, especially if you're praying, my loves, especially if the American people turn in the Queen of Cups and we start nurturing um, ourselves and nurturing our communities and nurturing our children, it's going to turn into, it's, this is not an overnight process, this is a generational type of thing. The United States is going to, the people are going to turn into more feminine energy of nurturing. Um, and, and it starts at the home. It starts at the root. That's what we can all do individually. Um, nurturing that space versus what we once looked like. Like with um, constantly grinding and building and being on top. Now it's more, uni I don't know why, but Spirit is talking about unification. The coming together of small pods of communities. Um that's going to be, and spirit wants to say that in the midst of all of this, you're going to think that it's not enough. You're going to look at this and you're going to feel like kind of torn in two different directions. You're going to say to yourself, this is not good, but it's not bad. You know what I mean? And it's just because we're in the midst of major radical shift that happens when just things can't exist the way that they are. These cards, you guys, we have the star card, we have um, Page of Pentacles, we have Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, Three of Swords, the Tower card, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups Reverse, Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups Reverse, and the Sun card Reverse. And at the middle of this reading, we have Ace of Pentacles and Two of Wands. This is not terrible. It's buildable. But what are we building? I feel like with Queen of um, Cups here is this energy again of nurturing the root and us, instead of looking towards our government for direction and, and safety and peace, we look to ourselves to build resources and a, and a healthier foundation. Yeah, because the, the American people feel, or what they're feeling is a sense of extra vulnerability and not a feeling of protect. They're not feeling protected. They feel like they have bad luck. Um, things have The way that things have planned out has, has been faded, ill-fated. Um, they're feeling very, very vulnerable. What's the last thing here we have? Yeah, Ten of Swords and Six of Swords. They're moving on from what feels like the, the, the worst for them. Something that they're not accustomed to. Ten of Swords is like a lot of death. A lot of death, guys. There's a lot of blood on that, that axe there. And Six of Swords are moving on after some major, major loss. 
major loss. We're in the period of transition and rebuilding. But I don't know if you guys see this. It has King of Pentacles. It's rebuilding not just our communities and safety, but our families and our planet. And I feel like that's going to be the main focus. Um, right now, especially with the star card reverse, it's going to be really hard to see that. It's going to be really hard to see the direction of where we're going. But I do feel an, a, a sense of hope, um, believe it or not. And this usually comes out of really dire circumstances. For those of you guys that have been so worried about like World War III and Franklin choking in the background. Come on, homie. Um, I'm sorry, guys. For those of you guys that have been concerned with, like, World War III, I don't think that the U.S., not only the U.S., but I don't think that the world even has the resources for that. Everybody is financially drained. Where that money went, girl, don't ask me. I don't know. But, because that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, if there's no money, then that means that it's somewhere. I don't know. It just seems like no one's really, okay, what else do we have here? Good news. Any good news for the U.S.? Like, what the fuck? I actually feel like that was good. I feel pretty good about that reading just now. But, okay, what else do we have? Oh, okay. <laughs> I take it back. See you guys. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think that, yeah. I think that the peop the American people are just really distrustful of the U.S. government moving forward. And they're very disappointed. And they feel very deceived. And they feel very manipulated. And they feel like, I can't trust you, and I'm not going to leave here, but I don't like it here. Um, and we're just, it's like someone being really like, the people, this is giving me the, the American people, like, I don't want to hear the American sub, sob stories. I don't even want to hear what politicians are saying. I don't trust you. It's, the, I'm hearing that the American people are taking matters into their own hands, and that's actually a really good place to be in. I don't know if you guys see this. Yeah, it's like, there's a lot of heads it's Americans are holding on to the things that it is that they've lost. That's their background right now. Um, Americans are holding on to all of the change that is that happened and they're not okay with it and they're not comfortable. Um, so for this reason, they're blocking, they're, they're just are completely emotionally or I don't know why I'm getting like the spirit of dissociation. Like American people have dissociated um, from too much it's like sensory overload they've completely and they've blocked out not the hand not the help of the u.s but it's like the the the, pol the 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 government they just don't trust and they don't want to hear what the government or people in power have to say because it's because of them that these heads are here yeah five of cups the american people have been mourning they've suffered their own individual losses this could have been sickness and people they're completely emotionally bombarded nine of wands energetically beyond exhausted they do not want to fight they don't want to continue to fight they there's just they're in their own pods and in their own worlds just kind of working out how to nourish themselves because there's been so much loss if it's loss of life and people that they've lost um you know through sickness or through war or through gun violence or th if it's health that has been impacted here or the, the 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 burdens of each person trying to make it's just it's they're, they're dissociating and they're saying you know what enough is enough i can't i don't know if you guys can see and feel the grievation the grievation of this all we have this woman who's covering her her hands with her face this woman who's covering her hands with her face this person who has completely closed her eyes and is crossing her arms across her chest because she's like i'm not allowing anything in queen of swords is notorious for not letting any, anything in she's very protective of herself and her boundaries and her family and nine of wands is i can't fight anymore you caught me off guard so all of these energies right now are saying like at the very start of this reading i said what was the benefit? Wait till you see this card. What was the benefit and what is a good thing? This is actually the good thing. Believe it or not, it take, it's really hard to see the benefit in all of this right now. But I'm just saying that Spirit is saying that this is the benefit, the fact that the American people are, are saying, I am reliant, I'm self-reliant. And then what happens? Four of Swords. This is the next card that jumps out. It's the, the card of rest. It's the card of recuperation. It's the card of rebuilding your strength. It's a card of, I'm not fighting with you anymore. I'm not fighting them. I'm not fighting my neighbor. I'm not fighting this. They've disconnected or dissociated. And for that reason, what? Yeah. Yeah. 
they're they're walking eight of cups the moon card reversed five of wands and page of cups there's a, a space of clarity and i feel like this is about nourishing the individual families and nourishing the self nourishing i'm i'm seeing something that used to be really large now becoming small and sustainable let's say we are all back in the day the american people's goal was to have the the most money and to be at the top of the stock market and to build bigger build bigger buildings and all this other stuff it feels now it's more about smaller pods instead of having five children or six children do you even want to have a child or are you okay with having a dog <laughs> It's like the American people are downsizing big time. And that's what becomes very important is not the 10 of wands, but the five of wands. What is manageable? What is sustainable for me and my family? That's what now gives me clarity, a sense of clarity and purpose. I'm dissociating from the news and the world and I'm coming into my family. I'm coming into my community. I'm coming into my collective. That is where real value is. So... Yep, six of wands. Um, six of wands was reversed. It's literally the taking down of the United States from what it was into what it will be, which is huge on community and pods. Of yeah, judgment card. Yeah, see guys, the judgment card and the six of cups. It's these community senses of community pockets. It's instead of having big business, make more, do more, be on top, be powerful. It's more like going to your neighbor and saying, can I get some butter from you? And they're just like, yeah, can I get some rice? And then you do an exchange. I really actually like that. And it actually feels that that ends up slowly rebuilding not only the world and not only money, but a sense of unification. And also it heals the planet. Like it just goes a little pray for that. Like literally, and maybe that's, no, oh my god i was just about to say that i was just i'm sorry i was like maybe that's why this card just fell dude maybe that's why the queen of cups was here and the fool card because this is the future of the u.s instead of it being war and battle and being on top what if the future of the of the u.s look like the queen of cups and what if this person is this maternal mothering energy that becomes the embodiment of where we're at right now and this is the new start and this is the new beginning and this is our people a fresh start that is not about advancing and being on top and some of you guys are saying well just like how is this possible don't ask me honey i that's why i think spirit is like yo pray about it and manifest it i've got my candle burning here just keeping me clear um but also manifest it like if you believe in praying for things outside of yourself or if you believe in manifesting for things outside of your own self, do that and do it for your family and do it for your future and do it for your peace. Uh, the American people are going to start focusing more on spiritual and emotional nourishment and mental peace and tranquility. They want to feel it's like quality of life, not quantity anymore. And the, the people, the, the US, the American citizens are not about being a part of this corporate agenda. Um, any last words? I just feel like that was just, for some of you guys that have been losing hope in the way that the weight of the world, like don't. Yeah, this has been, a, this was death card, right? The death card reverse. This is something that's been long overdue. These changes and transitions and transformations are things that we've actually been wanting, but we've been scared of, but they're, they're happening right now. It's long overdue. Yes. Hierophant. These changes are happening in the tradition of our, of our society or the tradition of the U S this is what is being broken down and being rebuilt. So don't resist that. Yep. Chariot. And this also has to do with our direction. What is this? Wow, seven of wands. We are rebuilding. Page of wands, fire. We are rebuilding, like really rebuilding our society and the structure of our society. That's what's being taken down right now. The high priestess. Yeah, ten of wands. It's an emotional um, unburdening of certain things. Um, also, highly intuitive people try to disconnect from the state of the world affairs because it can feel very... You want to make sure that you're grounded. You want to make sure that you're continuing to ground yourself emotional emotionally sensitive people empaths um healers really work on grounding yourself i myself have to remind myself again and again and again to ground and center myself because 
it can be a lot of um, sensitive baggage to take on. That's why, again, like I created this powder specifically to protect myself when I'm doing my service, what I can do. I know that people sometimes tell me like, just why are you here? Why are you doing this reading? Like, or why is it intense? And I, I understand that. That's just a part of my nature is to be intense. And the messages that come through are very intense. It's not always, you know, bells and whistles and unicorns and fluffy rabbits, but it's like you turn on the news or you walk outside and you can see the fact that that is not where we're at right now. If I'm not like, I can't, I can't reflect the truth. That's not there. You know what I mean? So with the 10 of wands here, guys, it's like, it, it makes sure that you're you're grounding yourself, you're centering yourself, and you're stabilizing yourself. If you are an, an enlightened person or a sensitive being, because it can be a lot. Um, again, the powder that it is that I'm working with really works with, it's a special blend. It's actually pretty simple, believe it or not, but it's a special blend. I'm not sharing my recipes. If you want it, you can find it on my website um, that you can use. I, I keep everything pretty much affordably priced, but um, I use it to protect myself and anoint my candles um, again, like I said, this is the higher wisdom candle while I'm working, but I use it to protect myself every day and also when I'm doing a reading and I invite you to do the same thing if needed. It just really helps to unburden certain energies. Okay. Whew. All right, guys, let me just get an Oracle card pull for you. Um, if you're still here listening, some of you guys probably clicked out, which is fine, which is fine. I've been working lately with the Southern Botanic Oracle. I've also been sharing this um, deck with my those who are subscribed to Bahati Love Nights with Bahati Love Notes, which is a daily shuffle tarot pull intuitive reading. Um, I take my time with those readings for my people, and I shuffle and share those messages daily. At the time of me sh sh um, shuffling today, it's Sunday. Um, typically, I don't shuffle on Sundays. I've realized, but I will be shuffling for the collective there. So if you want to get a daily reading, a daily message, it's a subscription service. It's $5 a month. Um, I'll link that down below. And you have access also to all the other previous messages that I pulled. So you can go ahead and catch up or apply it to the things that were going already previously in your life and see how those messages apply. Because at the end of the day, energy doesn't dissipate. It just kind of stays there. It kind of lingers. Okay. So if you feel called to. Okay, if you feel called. All right, so let's serve my people here. Wow, wow. Okay, we have Paw Paw, celebration and fruits of labor. I really actually genuinely love that for us. Then we have sugar maple, information and knowledge, and I'm gonna leave this one last. Okay, so Paw Paw number 38, let's get into it. All right. The American Paw Paw, also known as custard apple, is a small fruiting tree that produces a fruit similar to the tropical soursop. Um, it's North America's largest native fruit and grows only in the hotter, more southerly regions of the continent. This is a sign of success, fulfillment, and a job well done. You seem to have reached a stage of confidence and achievement. Maybe you've just re reached a place where you can finally enjoy money, leisure, and material comfort, or maybe, maybe... That's what you are on the cusp of right now. Reflecting on how difficult it was to get here, you can expect to enjoy the blessings that lie ahead. Exactly. That's the vibe that I'm getting for the American people is the fruit of our labors and the fruit, actually enjoying the fruit instead of working and slaving so hard for it, no pun intended, and actually being able to like sit down and just enjoy it and share what you've grown with your people and having the time to be able to share it with yourself because that's something that we didn't have before. Okay, 32. We have sugar maple. Um, I don't know about you guys, but <clears throat> core memory unlocked. I used to take these little things here when I was a kid and I would bust it open, like kind of crack it um, with my fingernail. And then I would stick the thing on my nose and I would look like an alien. And I just, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but I used to do that. Can you guys relate to that? Did you used to do that? And I had no idea that it was coming from the sugar maple, but how sweet. I would stick them on my face like a little weirdo. <laughs> How cute. I almost want to kind of do it now. Okay, information. This tree is a beautiful symbol of sharing knowledge because of how it disperses seeds. Have you ever heard of Samara fruit? This is the scientific term for helicopter seeds. Oh, yeah, they would, they would like, you know, kind of fall that way. These papery pods spin playfully to the ground, making for good toys and snacks. Exactly. I didn't know that you could eat it. Cool. 
I would just put them on my face. Um, the seed maple seed is surrounded by a, a beautiful wing that when the wind blows carries a seed with efficiency and grace. This card encourages you to tap into the subconscious wisdom of your dreams. Perhaps things seem beyond your control, but in truth, you may be at a moment of change. Imagine the spirits showering you with words of wisdom from a higher plane. Knowledge is power and you are on the cusp of a great new phase of learning. Exactly. We're learning a new way of living life. Okay. And what's this last card? It was reversed. Yes. Okay. Well, temptation and danger. I feel like these, this is what's falling away. I, I, I don't, I don't want to say that temptation and danger is not still there. I feel that we are learning from the dangers that are around us now and it's becoming, it's turning us to, into a better people. And sometimes we have to go through the thick of it. Okay. Sometimes we have to go through the thick of it. Okay. 36 for those of you guys that don't, you have never had this card before, but I've actually pulled it before on my YouTube channel. Okay. Um, Hellbores have also long associations with dark witchcraft. It's said that if the eagle flew overhead as Hellbore bloom was being harvested, then the harvester would perish within a year. Um, the Hellbore card represents your darker side and the negative forces that hold you back from being the best version of yourself. Try to avoid your negative habits and unproductive thought patterns or else they may poison your life and relationships. And I think that this is exactly what it is that we're walking away from. And that's why this card is reversed is that we have had a very poisonous way that the, you know, the, the, the American people, the United States, our history has not, it is a card of, or it is a, a history that we've prevailed to some really interesting things. Um, and we have titles because of that. Um, and we have a, um, an ego from it, but it's not a, 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 a clean history. Um, and I feel like we're, we are, should be and what spirit is saying is that we want to focus our eyes on cleaning up and turning the, the poison into a medicine for ourselves a part of that is through our information and, and knowledge sharing a part of that is understanding why information is being shared and knowing the difference between what is authentic and what is real and also part of that is knowing what is actually important and who and what we can trust I hope that this meet reading um, resonates with you all. I really, I really do. I hope that it's given you peace and clarity and direction and, and even inspiration. Not because I want you to be inspired, but because there is hope to have, to have and to hold in the situation. Okay, I'm not someone who promises certain things or says certain things because I wish it to be better than what it actually is. If anything, one of my highest strengths and one of my greatest weaknesses is my bluntness. Um, so you'll always find that here on the YouTube channel. So. For that reason, I, I, I share with you um, the truth of what it is that I'm seeing, and I, I do have hope. All right, my loves. If you need me, you know where you can find me, Bahati Life Apothecary, BahatiLife.com. I'll share all my links down below, including this subscription service. It's $5 a month. Daily readings. After this reading goes up, I'm going to be posting that one. Um, until then, you guys, I'll see you later in my next video. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Queen Bee Homestead Co. is the cozy home of Queen Bee Homestead Body Butters. Each butter is created with all natural ingredients, including rich shea butter, creamy coconut oil, fragrant rose water, herbs, and high vibrational essential oils. The butters are then whipped to a decadent perfection which you can use to naturally moisturize and protect your skin from the harsh elements, including UV rays from the sun and nourish and protect your hair. Explore the Small Homestead's website where you'll find all of the best-selling blends ranging from Energy Clearing Bad Vibe Shield, which features pure lavender and sage essential oils, to the Warm Honey Goddess Body Butter, which features cardamom and actual honey. Shipping is fast to our friends in the US. Queen Bee Homestead Co., your source for simplicity, purity and intentionality in your beauty essentials.